Let's find out how to create an awesome looking site plan, also known as an urban plan, site map, site drawing, whatever you want to call it. In this course, we're going to be learning exactly how to do that. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So this was a site plan that I created for my Studio 5, my construction studio. And I want to start by breaking it down into how we actually created this site plan. As you can see, there's quite a lot going on. And I want to start by looking at just the base layer. So if we turn off everything else, apart from the base layer, you can see that we've got this kind of greenery and you've got some contour lines and an overall layout of where everything is. So let's start fresh from this base layer. If you would like to get access to this full course as well as all of the materials and all of the textures and all of the files that I use in this course, feel free to jump onto my website and that link is up above, but it's also down in the description below be sure to check that out. So if we open up this folder containing all of the base layers, you can see that there are three or four different layers really. However, this fourth layer is not being used. This fourth layer was actually used as a template to lay everything out. In fact, this was created from three different layers first. So this is important to get into. We first started in Rhino and we created this contour map of the site. If you want to figure out how I created this, I actually show you how to do that in like a three minute video. So I'll link that above as well. And I've also got a couple of other videos showing and showcasing how you can create contour models. So if you want, you can find resources on how to create this on my channel. As you can see, we've got one PDF here, which shows all of the contours and it can show a little bit of the road here as well. And then it shows just our setup of where our buildings are going to be. Then if we go to the next one, this is just the site contours with the road there as well. And the final one is just the buildings. And this is going to be important moving forward. So once you've got all of those three files ready, then we can move on into Photoshop. 